Earlier this year, all the climbing gyms in my county closed temporarily. I know in order to maintain my finger strength, I should have trained on the hang board consistently until the gym opened again. Not gonna lie, I failed to do so partially because hang boarding is relatively boring and partially because I thought the gym would reopen soon. Unfortunately, the gym did not reopen soon. And after a few months of no climbing, I realized that I was having trouble hanging myself on 20 millimeter edges. It was definitely a shocker to me. One day, my friend showed me the Instagram page of C4HP. The owner of the page, Dr. Tyler Nielsen, showcases a new innovative handboard training method called One Arm Max Pull Isometrics. I found it very interesting, so I reached out to Dr. Nelson. He was very kind and gave me a free consulting session. I won't show it in this video, but if you are into the details of the science and research of finger training, I highly recommend you book a consultation session with Dr. Nelson. Here is my understanding why the one arm max pull isometrics is better than good old two arm handboarding. First, you will be less prone to injury. If you can barely hang your body weight with both arms on a specific edge and you push too hard and all of a sudden your fingers can't take the weight, you injure your fingers. But if you stand on the ground pulling as hard as you can with one arm, this kind of injury will never happen. Second, it's very beginner friendly. If you are a beginner, chances are high that your fingers can't hold your body weight with both arms on a 20 millimeter edge. That means there's nothing you can do except for just climbing more if you want to improve your finger strength on a 20 millimeter edge. However, with the one arm max pull isometrics, you can stand on the ground and pull as hard as you can with one arm on the 20 millimeter edge, even though the force you can generate is going to be less than half of your body weight. Your fingers can still be trained properly. Third, it's also perfect for advanced climbers. If you are an advanced climber, hanging on 20mm edges with both arms is likely too easy. You can try to hang as long as you can, but that's the training for endurance, not for strength. With the one arm max pull isometrics, again, you can stand on the ground and pull as hard as you can with one arm on the 20 millimeter edge. Your max force generated might be 80% of your body weight, but you can continue to train and increase your finger strength to 85% of your body weight. Essentially, you can train weighted handboarding at home without weights at a much lower risk of injuring your fingers. In my opinion, this is pretty remarkable. However, there's one thing you have to do for this method to work. The thing that you have to have though is you have to try hard. I decided to train three days with the one arm max pull isometrics on the 20 millimeter edge to see how much I will improve. Excited to start? I first measured how much finger strength I had. First, I measured the right hand. and it was 65.6 pounds, which is around 50% of my body weight. Next, I measured the left hand. And it was only 48.8 pounds, which is only around 37.5% of my body weight. I knew I regressed, but it was shocking to see the actual numbers. And that kind of explained why I was having trouble hanging myself on the 20 millimeter edge with both arms. I wasn't ready to accept how low the numbers were, so I measured both hands two more times. The second time for my right was 63.6 pounds, and the third time for my right was 53.8 pounds. The second time for my left was 47.8 pounds, and the third time for my left was 40.2 pounds. Yeah, the numbers were not getting better. I was getting weaker, no doubt about it. Dr. Nelson recommended me a training plan, but I simplified it to make it work for my schedule. Prior to training the one arm max pull isometrics, I warm up my body with whatever workout plan I plan to do for the day. After that, it's half crimp recruitment pulls meaning five reps of pulling down with four fingers as hard as I can for around three to four seconds for both right and left arm. One minute rest between reps. After that, it's open hand recruitment pulls. Exactly the same protocol as the half crimp recruitment pulls, but with three finger drags instead. That's it. It's pretty simple and it doesn't take up too much time. I trained it three to four times a week and three days just flew by really fast. It was time to major the numbers again.
My right hand improved to 82 pounds, which is 63% of my body weight. And my left hand improved to 67.6 pounds, which is 52% of my body weight. I felt I could do better, so I majored again one more time. But my right came out to be 80.4 pounds, and my left came out to be 67.4 pounds. So yeah, the first try is always the best try. As you might notice, even though the improvement was pretty significant, but I wasn't particularly excited in the video. And that was because my numbers are still worse than my pre-shutdown numbers. But looking back, I'm actually happy that I was able to regain my finger strength at such a fast pace. That's why my climbing has not been too bad since the gym reopened. I've been training on the moonboard pretty hard lately, and I halted the handboard training. Otherwise, it would be too much on the fingers. However, I can totally see myself do regular gym climbing while training the new one-arm max pull isometrics and see continued gains. I highly recommend you give this one-arm max pull isometrics a try, especially if you aren't training your fingers in any shape or form, or if you are having handboard training in the old school way. Thanks for watching. You might notice that I have a new handboard mount. And yes, that is a new, amazing, innovative product from Fictitious Climbing. It's a doorway mount that doesn't require you to drill and thus damage the wall. Installing this setup takes less than a minute, and it's so much more painless than other hacky solutions. Fictitious Climbing is currently running a promotion where if you buy the doorway mount, you get 20% off on any of their handboards. It's an amazing deal, so be sure to take advantage of it. Full disclosure, I'm not sponsored, but I will earn a commission on each purchase. This is a great way to support my channel as well as innovative climbing startups. I turn down 95% of product shallow requests from different brands because I don't want to take quick money and recommend products I don't even use on this channel. I will only ever recommend products that I use and found useful. So be sure to check out the link in the video description below.